It's a beautiful morning out here on the lake. Sad to say this is the first time I've had my kayak out all year and it's already August. As you've seen from my earlier videos, I've been spending a lot of time chasing bears and uh, decided to give that a bit of a rest and just come out um, and try to do some bird photography. What a beautiful morning. Um, beautiful sunrise and the uh, water's nice and calm looks like it's going to be a great day and the light's still low but that'll give me time to get in a position uh, to hopefully get some bird shots and maybe even a bald eagle or two so thanks for coming along and we'll start hunting There's a kingfisher on this branch. I'm trying not to spook him. I don't think I have enough reach to get a decent shot, but I'm just gonna drift on up here and see what happens. Yeah, 500 millimeters just isn't enough. There's a little gap in the, the weeds here and I might be able to get a little bit closer, but I'm so afraid I'm going to spook him off. It looks like he's hunting, so I might try a little bit, but you know, I hate to disturb the birds when they're doing what comes natural as much as I'd like to get a shot. But uh, <laughs> kingfishers are awesome. He took off to another perch. I was actually backing up. I wasn't going toward him. I don't know if I spooked him or if he just decided he was gonna look somewhere else for a meal.
there's so much involved with wildlife photography. First and foremost, you have to have subjects to shoot and they're not always easy to get to. And second of all, you do have to have the right equipment and uh, even with 500 millimeters here, I really don't have enough reach to get such a small bird. That, my friends, is a bald eagle. Oh, I see him. He's over there in a the tree. Let me see if I can get a some video of him with the big camera. Love that sound they make. It's already been a great morning and I haven't had one photograph taken. And that's okay, because it's just all about being out here with these beautiful creatures. Well, the kingfishers, they all decided to fly away. And uh, they did it while I was looking at the eagle. So, so far, no luck with photographs, but light is still pretty low. And we have lots of time, so have to be patient. Keep our eyes open. Two juvenile bald eagles um, out here in front of me. The light is really challenging right now. Um, lots of cloud cover, so the light's not very good. And I'm not at a great angle, but uh, it's great to see that the eagles on this lake have had some success in procreating. And we have two fledglings in the you can't have too many bald eagles. blue heron has just flown in and I just couldn't get in position to get him in the air but he's landed and he's in some nice tall grass and looks like a pretty nice scene so I'm hoping that I'm getting his eye focused uh, in between the blades of grass that's what I'm attempting to do obviously and uh, hopefully We'll get something out of it.
I was chatting with a fisherman and he was kind enough to point out this adult eagle over here perched at the very top of this dead tree that's in front of me and uh, haven't had much luck all morning. I've shot a few things, but the light has been terrible and uh, the light's getting pretty harsh, but it's still at a decent angle where I may be able to get a shot if he just sits still. Um, that'd be great if he flies once I get ready, <laughs> but I gotta get close enough. And uh, even if I get a nice perch shot, I'll be happy with that this morning. It's been a beautiful morning and seeing lots and lots of birds, but uh, seeing them and getting a photo are two different things. So, I'm gonna keep working at it and hopefully I'll come out of here with something halfway decent today. But I really appreciate you coming along and appreciate your patience because wildlife photography takes patience. It is, uh, it can be one of the most rewarding um, but also one of the most frustrating hobbies that you can, can have so, but Even if I didn't get a shot, I could go come out here like this every day. Well, folks, as you can see, the light is getting really, really harsh. Um, I thought the cloud cover would act as a diffuser, and it did for a while, but uh, didn't have a whole lot of luck getting close to anything. I may have got a decent shot of a heron. Um, I got a shot of a perched bald eagle. Uh, nothing in flight. Uh, I don't believe I got anything in flight. I tried to shoot the heron in flight. Uh, I think an osprey flew over. I was firing away, but I haven't checked the uh, the image on my camera. Um, it's so bright, it's really hard to see the LCD. So, but it was a beautiful morning, and I really appreciate you coming along. I appreciate your support. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel, and until next time, take care.